What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing one of the strongest normal type Pokemon in all of competitive. We are rocking out with Porygon Z. Now, Porygon Z is one of my favorite Pokemon from Generation 4. Just such a derpy little cool Pokemon with such a high special attack stat. It has the ability called Adaptability, and what that does is it doubles our stab type moves. So instead of getting a 1.5 times multiplier, we're going to get a 2 times multiplier on all normal type moves. We're rocking Try Attack and Hyper Beam. So again, big time damage coming out from Porygon Z. You got the Life Orb as its item to make it do even more damage, rocking the Ghost Terror type and Shadow Ball. Like I said, awesome move set. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon. But another regulation F Pokemon that is on this team is going to be Swamper. Swamper is one of the starters that I know a lot of you guys want to see. So I'm giving you guys a nice little sneak peek here. I do have another Swamper team that I want to showcase. So right now, this video is going to be all about Porygon Z. But Swampert's over here, more so for back end support and for a nice big time setup. It's got bulk up with protect, body press, and high horsepower. We also got Hitmontop on the team. Hitmontop is another Pokemon returning from the Indigo Disc, and this Pokemon, I feel like it's going to be a huge part of the meta. It's an Intimidate user with Fake Out. Doesn't get much better than that. Hitmontop's got Citrus Berry, then the other three moves is Close Combat, Wide Guard, and Sucker Punch. Final three Pokemon on today's team is for a Graph, Warm Moon, and Grimmsnarl. Nice little support. We can imprison Trick Room, and on top of that, Warm Moon hits like a truck. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Run the code is at top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's content, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's go showcase Porygon Z. This team right here was sent to me by Bladex over on Twitter. Bladex is a viewer of the Jeans community, so huge shout out to him. Thank you so much for watching this channel, and thank you so much for sending me this team. But we're hopping into our first match for today's video. We're looking to start things off hot here with a win, and I think Porygon Z is going to be a great lead. They got Wimscott, they got Fluttermane, they also have Latios and Metagross, two Pokemon that are going to be weak to Ghost type moves. So PZ with the Ghost Terror type and Shadow Ball, looking a little dangerous. I like it a lot. Plus, Ghost Terror type dodges Fake Out, and they have a Fake Out user with Incineroar. So PZ is going to be my lead. As our second Pokemon, I could lead Hitmontop. Hitmontop's not too shabby, but it might just be a back end Pokemon for me. So maybe I just want to go into like Roaring Moon, or I could go into Frigoraph. I could go into Frigoraph. What's your speed at, PZ? 156, so you're actually kind of fast. You are kind of fast, so maybe we don't want to go and trick him. Maybe we just want to set up screens. I think that's going to be my play. So we're going to go screens. We're going to bring Roaring Moon in the back end. And last but not least, I'm kind of liking him on top with Sucker Punch. Not looking too shabby. Sucker Punch is going to be good up against a few of these guys. Then you got Close Combat. I like this hit on top. I really like this hit on top. So you know what? We're going to go into it. We are going to go into it. We do have Swampert, but I just like Hitmontop a little bit better. Just a little bit better here, just due to Intimidates and the Fake Outs. Just such such good ability, such a good move. Can't really go wrong with a Fake Out user on any team, but we're looking to set up some screens here. Start ripping after it with PZ if they want to lead in Cinnamar. I think we're just going to Thrastalize and uh, let him go for the Fake Out, right? But chances are they're going to Fake Out the PZ slot. So we'll see what it is. It is going to be Latios and... Whimsicott. Yes, from here, from here, I think we just Terra and we go after the Latios, right? Do we even Terra or do we just rip? I'm down to just attack because, like, what is Latios going to do? Go for a Dragon move, go for a Psychic move. I think staying our type is just fine. So, I mean, do we want the damage boost? That's the real question. Kind of. To be honest, yes. I actually do want this damage boost. Actually, no, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna stay normal. We're, we're gonna we're gonna stay normal typing. I lied, I lied, I lied. We're staying normal typing. Just in case that, uh, the Flutter main comes in late game, it's just gonna be a problem. So I'm gonna set up the light screen. We're gonna stay our typing. He's just gonna go for a taunt. And I'm a dark type. That's not affecting me, dude. Not affecting me. So light screen comes out and about. They waste a turn with Whimsicott. And can you outspeed PC? Yeah, I didn't think you would, but uh, Psychic's gonna fly through here. And PC soaks decently well with the light screen. The Shadow Ball now flying out here. How much damage are we doing? A lot of damage. That's some big that's big boy damage. That is some big boy damage right there. Now Psychic can might be able to KO me here. It's gonna be cutting it close. So in this instance, I might just pop hyper beam. Now you know what? We're just gonna do this. And then I'm just gonna spear break this slot. I'm gonna look to get rid of Latios. She's gonna set up a tailwind. Probably going for another psychic if I had to guess. And looking just KO me. 
Can I soak that? Can I live on like two? Maybe three? Ten. I'll take ten all day. Beautiful. Because now we get off a big time try attack. Taking out the Wimscott, no problem. And Life Orb's gonna drop. So, PZ getting a lot of work done. Doing some big time damage on the Latios. Maybe I should terrestrialize, but it's good that I have Terra in the back end now. So, we get rid of Wimscott. Now, I'm gonna be able to get rid of Latios. And I can set up a reflect if they bring out any type of physical attackers. Cool. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So, great start for us. Get the screens off. PZ is ripping. And from here, I could go Roaring Moon, or I could just Intimidate this turn. They do bring out physical attackers. Who is their physical attackers? It's, uh... Incineroar? Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's bring out Hit My Top first, just in case they Intimidate me. I don't want my Roaring Moon to go minus one here. And they go Metagross alongside with who? With Incineroar. So he's going to Intimidate me. I'm going to Intimidate them. I can then set up a Reflect here as well. Okay, it's not too crazy. I mean, close combat could be your friend. Just look to get off some damage. So I'll set up the reflect this turn. That's exactly what we want to do. And hit my top. You could just start close combating, right? Incineroar, just try to get off some damage. We love it. We love it. And we'll set up the reflect. Again, I have Roaring Moon to back in. Love Roaring Moon. Love Roaring Moon. Such a fast Pokemon, especially with the booster energy. It just does so much damage. It's really good. But we're going to see a nice big time Terror come out here. Hopefully it's onto the Metagross. And it is. So we keep the close combat super effective in that slot. And he's going to Terrasize into a straight flying type. Now if you have Terror Blast, which I'm thinking you do, that's going to look a little scary, right? Think out's going to fly through here. And that's just going to go and hit my top. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I could have faked out, but I just want to start attacking. Psychic Fang is going to fly here. And you break screens with Psychic Fang. It's, oh. You break screens with Psychic Fang. Okay. I understand. You break screens. Oh my god, that hurts. Psychic. Yo, Metagross is going to be so good. Metagross is so good. Psychic Fang is breaking screens. So we're going to boost our energy up with Roar Moon. Man, I want those screens. Do I still set up screens? Do I just constantly set up Reflect? I could Terra Acrobatics. I mean, Incineroar is a Pokemon I'm not really worried about that much. More so than Metagross. So I think Terra Acrobatics is definitely going to be our play. We could double down until we go into that. But I think I want to do that. I think I just want to try to get rid of Metagross. Yeah, because Incineroar's minus one with Intimidate, which is good. So one thing I wouldn't like would be Metagross protecting and then Incineroar parting shotting into my uh into my roar move. That would be a big problem. But I think we should be fine. I don't I don't really see that happening, right? I'm just thinking of the worst possible situations right now. So Acrobatics gets cooking, the Metagross, thank the Lord, does not protect. Acrobatics doing a nice chunk of damage here. And Meteor Mash is from Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Flare Bush, you're doubling down. Wow, we're gonna lose this match. We're gonna lose this match due to Psychic Fang, right? Maybe I should've just set up a Reflect. Probably would've, oh, I should've just set up another Reflect. Should've went with my gut. Should've went with my gut. You know, Spirit Break's gonna fly here. How much damage are we doing? Yeah, we're not nearly doing enough damage. We're not nearly doing enough damage. I was just gonna say, if we KO Metagross, That'd be nice, but but now he's just gonna hit me with a uh, with a steel move and just pretty much dump on me. But solid turns or solid game from our opponent. Psychic Fang's clutching up. They take out our screams and we end up losing. Second match is on its way. We're sitting 0-1 and that Metagross did us dirty in match number one. I thought we had the upper hand up until it used Psychic Fangs and once it used that, took out my Hitmon top and my screens at the same time, giving them a big, big turnaround. But they're go but we're going up against an Exedril and T Tark team here in match number one. They also have Skelly Dirge, they have Meganium, such a cool new Pokemon, and they also have Primarina and Latias. So weather control seems to be their best bet, right? It definitely seems to be their best bet. Porygon Z could come in the back end, and I think that would be a better option than leaving here. So I could go Grimmsnarl here. It could go Titar Extra, which I think is a high chance of them doing. So you know what? I'm just going to go hit him on top, and I'm going to go Roar Moon here. I think that's solid for us. We'll go PZ, and I think we just go Swampert as late game. Swampert's got the ground moves. Could work rather well. We also have Bind Depressing Bulk up. 
I like it. So, looking for our first win here in match number two. Like I said, we're 0 1. We're 0 1. And we hate going into the third and final match being 0 2. So, I'm not planning on that. I am not planning on that. So, let's just see who they end up leading. They end up leading Titar Extra, which I think they're going to do. And my top's going to be great. And it is. Titar Extra does come out here. Beautiful. Hit my top. Going to get that lovely Intimidate off here. And I think we just set up Tailwind. Yeah, I think we just set up Tailwind just to kind of match the speed of their Pokemon. And then we might just want to close combat the Titar. I mean, I could actually fake out this turn. Which I think would be a bit better option for us. See what they want to do. So I'm just going to fake out the extra. A lot of them are Sash too. So fake out Tailwind. 100% of play. And we'll see if Titar wants to Thrasilize too. Because I have a fighting type Pokemon chilling on the field. Let's we'll read out what he wants to do. But it's just such a solid need for us to get this Intimidate Pokemon off here. Look at my boy hit my top. He's strutting. Hit my top strutting. He ends up protecting Titar. We like that. And we get the fake out off on the extra. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now Tailwind flies. So I actually could. I could just go wide guard here. And the reason I say wide guard is because Titar probably has flying terror type, right? So he's probably gonna thrash slice. Titar probably wants to use rock slide. So that's double hitting move. And if he thrash slides flying, then extra probably wants to just use EQ. So I think wide guard's gonna be able to play over over him going into whatever move he wants to use with uh or over close combat. So I'm gonna pop the wide guard. He doesn't thrash slide, which is kinda weird. And Jaw Lock's gonna fly through here. So Jaw Lock doing a huge chunk of damage, picking up the big time crit. And hopefully at least T Touch going for Rock Slide. Extra's just going for EQ. Cool. That works out perfectly. T Tar, are you airborne? Did I miss something or are you just hitting your T Tar here? Maybe you forgot to Terrasalize. Yeah, you just forgot to Terrasalize. But I made the right calls. Oh, you want to pop weakness policy. Hopefully you're going for rock slides, because again, we're thriving out here with this wide guard. Show me that rock slide. Show me the rock slide. Oh my god, yo, wide guard on hit yo, hit my top is just destroying this combo right here. Fake set fake outs, intimidates, wide guards. Really just getting after us. I think our opponent's gonna cancel the match, to be honest with you. Not even gonna lie, I think our opponent's gonna cancel the match. In all seriousness. So from here, I'm just gonna go close combat. I doubt they terrasse slice here. And I'm just gonna go for a jaw lock. Easy plays. Easy plays. Is a protecting the T Tart? That's totally fine, because I'm just gonna get rid of extra drill. Extra drill, see you later. Get on out my game. Get it on out my face. So hot start for us. Hit my top killing it. I might want to swap in my top and save it. T Tart's only plus one. I know I had a weakness policy boost, but we did minus one it early, so it's only plus one on attack right now. Alright, hit my top. I see you. I feel you. Playing good right now. Playing good. So let's see who they go into, because right now. I'm faster than both my Pokemon are faster than Titar. They end up going in a Primarina. And at this point, uh At this point I might just swap. It's like Swamper or something, right? Now to be honest, I'm gonna get rid of Titar. I have speed right now. Let's try to get rid of it. I'm gonna thrasilize you as well. This is a fairy move to prank on me, right? So, I'm going to Terrasalize you, start attacking Primarina if Titar stays in here, stays his typing. We're just going to KO with Coach Combat. We have Tailwind Speed Control, so I'll save my big dogs, Swampert, and PC as back end Pokemon. And Acrobat's going to fire, so that's going to chunk up some nice damage. Probably not KO, but again, chunking up some big time damage. But Coach Combat comes through here and finishes off Titar. So, him on top just totally countered the Titar extra combo, which is super strong. It's ridiculously strong. So Primarina could just attack my him on top and take it out. But I just want to terrestrialize my boy just in case, and that's fine. So Dazzling Gleam's gonna finish off you. Four moons able to soak. And now I get to bring out the P of the Z's. P of the Z's coming in hot. Coming in hot here. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So dude, a great start for us. Real great start for us. So right now. PC speed's rather high. That's gonna be faster than Primarina. And Warren Moon with the boost energy is faster than Primarina. They're gonna throw out their final Pokemon. It's gonna be Meganium. So Meganium, I might just launch a Hyper Beam in this slot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. What's a, what's a 
90 accuracy, 150. Oh, we are popping that. Plus, it's adaptability, double damage. And we'll just stick with Acrobatics into Pre Marina. Oh, dude, I love Meganium. I think Meganium gets so much hate. I think it's one of the coolest starters. It's so dope. A little dinosaur? Big dinosaur? Look at the thing. It's a little plant dino. I love Meganium. I love it. I gotta showcase it soon on the channel. I gotta. I gotta. I have to. And honestly, was it already in the game? It might have already been in this game. I kind of forget. I think I might have used it. But they're going to terrestrializing it into straight dragon. I'm still popping that hyper beam. I'm attacking. Meganium is here. Acrobatics flying. We'll say bye bye to Pre Marina. And I hate to KO this thing. I hate to do some big time damage with Hyper Beam, but PZ's doing it. Imagine if, if we had normal terror on this Pokemon. Just the amount of damage it would do. Hyper Beam flying, and the damage is just absurd. Stab, base 150, we get the adaptability boost, and on top of that, PZ's life orb. It's just hitting like a truck. Final match is here. We're sitting one and one. Would love to grab you guys a winning record for today's video, but we're going up against a strong team with Thrakion and Wimscott. So that combo right there, you can use beat up with Wimscott into Thrakion. Thrakion probably has justified as his ability, and he can just roll out with a bunch of attack boosts. So that's definitely a big threat. I think from here, him on top is not a bad lead for us just for fake out purposes. Then on top of that, we could go Wimscott, or not Wimscott, a Roar Moon to deal with that Wimscott. And I actually like this lead a lot. So I'm going to go into both of them. Bring PZ and Swampert yet again. I think that's just such a good little combo here. I think they're good back end Pokemon and they can do a lot. So, gotta watch out for Metagross though. Metagross, huge threat to us. But we're 1 and 1. We're going to grab ourselves a win. We grab ourselves a loss in a close match. Just been having fun with this team. So, hopefully, you guys are still enjoying. But PZ was ripping in that last match. More so, Hitmon on top. Hitmon on top was great in that last match. Getting things just cooking early there with Intimidate. Popping a big time prediction with a. Uh, Y guard, dodging EQ and rock slide, which is huge. And pretty much after that, we just had an upper hand from there. So let's see who they end up leading. I think it's going to be Wimscott and Terrakion, right? And if it's Wimscott and Terrakion, I think we're just going to fake out the Wimscott and acrobatics that slot and just take it out, right? We wouldn't have the Terrakion slides taken out. And yeah, that's exactly who they lead. Shiny Terrakion. Woo! Shiny Terrakion looks tough. Looks real tough. Looks real tough. Looks real tough. Let me get off this boost energy. I think we just fake out. I think we just do it. I think we do the old fake out take out combo, right? Fake out right here, and then take out right here. Hopefully no protect comes out from Scott. And Terrakion's gonna protect. Yo, fake out take out. Or he double protecting. Nah, yo, fake out take out coming in hot. Fake out take out. No, your covert cloak. Your Covert Cloak, that hurts his soul. Covert Cloak so good. It's so good. Acrobatic still going to finish him off. They do end up getting off the Tailwind, but I still like where we're sitting because we kind of stopped the Justified Beat-Up combo, and we have minus one on Thrakion early on. Fake out, take out combo. Loving it. They throw out their next Pokemon. It is going to be Sylveon. This is where things get a little... A little eh. A little scary, right? Definitely a little scary because Terrakion's chilling over here and it is a rock type. Yeah, it's a rock type. So rock gonna hit me like a truck if I thrash slides. But fairy hits me like a truck if I don't thrash slides. But the two main moves they have is rock slide and hyper voice. Both double hitting moves. So let's wide guard up again. Wide guard coming out here. We're gonna thrash slides. I'm going straight after that Sylveon. <coughs> going straight after that Sylveon. Like I said, we already have minus one on Terrakion. So going after Sylveon, just trying to get rid of it, it's going to be a big fight. Won't be a big fight. They do have some speed, but honestly, War Moon might be able to outspeed him, considering it is booster energy and speed. So Wide Guard coming out here, hit him on top, doing his little strut. Look at him do his little dancey dance. Rock Slide coming in here, and Hyper Voice is definitely coming in here. Let's go. Yo, Wide Guard's killing it today. Wide Guard's lighting it up today. Wide Guard's not playing around. Not playing around. We do outspeed the Sylveon, which is huge. We should be able to do a nice chunk of damage on that thing. More than half, which is beautiful. And there's the hyper Yo, know, wide guard. Just, just posing a huge threat. Oh my lord. 
Oh my lord, hit my top. Hit my top's definitely, definitely earned a spot on the thumbnail today, right? Him and PZ, all day, all day. Definitely earned it, definitely earned it. So I'm gonna go for another wide guard just in case he wanna attack me again. I'm just gonna go straight after this, uh, Sylveon. Go wide guard just in case he wants to do it again. Really no point not for us to do it. And he ends up going for it again, yeah. Yo, hit my top, lighten it up in today's video. Doing a lot better than I expected him to do. My man, hit my top. Acrobat's gonna finish off the Sylveon. Now they're left with a Terrakion that can't swap out. It was minus one. And guess what I'm gonna do again? I'm gonna wide guard again. Actually, I might read him and just close combat on this turn. I could close combat and protect the or moon. Options, options, options. Final Pokemon comes out here. It's gonna be Entei. Entei flies out here. And honestly, we're just gonna go here and I'm just gonna protect you. Just in case you wanna still go for Rock Slide. I think they might just cancel match after after a double wide guard read. But we're gonna end up seeing a Terra turn. Probably from Entei. Normal Terra? Yeah, Entei, normal Terra, you speed. Come on, man. Like, I, this, that, I play this game too much, man. I play this game way too much. <laughs> Knowing all this stuff. It's absurd. I end up just protecting you. Let's see the East be going in this slot. I play this game way too much. I gotta stop. I need I need to find some hobbies, man. Even though I have tons of hobbies. Sacred Sword's gonna fly here. Going to hit my top. That's fine. Still should do a huge chunk of damage with close combat here. Oh my god, yo, hit my top. Hit my top. More like hit my stop, dude. This thing is killing it. He's killing it. It's gonna be game. We might sweep this game. It's looking like it. It's looking like it. I'll go for close combat in this, this slot. And we'll just acrobatic hit again. Hopefully they just cancel. They do. There's a sweep in match number three. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Losing our first match, but making up for it by winning our second and our third match. Hit my top. Definitely lit it up today. Same thing with PZ. Hitting like an absolute truck with a life orb and adaptability as its ability. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.